Well, FBI Director James Comey's testimony before Congress yesterday revealed pretty much nothing new about President Trump and Russia. We've known for months that so far there's no evidence that Russia actually changed any votes in the election or that they collaborated with the Trump campaign. Comey's testimony did nothing to change that. Despite this, congressional Democrats have been in a purity spiral, each trying to outdo his colleagues and calling the president illegitimate and the Russians' behavior an act of war. What exactly is going on here? Fox News senior political analyst Britt Hume joins us tonight. So, Britt, you want to, as an American, you want to feel good about the FBI director. I can't uh, remember ever worrying about one. You don't want to think that their behavior is flaky or there's something else going on. But watching the director of the FBI yesterday openly say, yes, we're investigating this one thing, the Trump campaign, but no, I can't comment on a potential investigation into the leaking of uh, the conversation between uh, Michael Flynn and the Russian ambassador on the other, did sort of raise the question, what is going on here exactly? Well, it does raise that question, Tucker, and you, you kind of suspect, uh, one sort of suspects that this is the bookend of his earlier handling of the Hillary Clinton investigation. You remember when he came out publicly and announced that it was underway and then yes. that it had been closed and then finally that it had been reopened and then again that it had been closed. Um, and I think that he may have felt that, uh, that this was, uh, you know, this was a payback call, uh, having done that and caught such grief for it. Um, now, of course, obviously, you wonder, you know, why the need to do this. I think it's reasonable to suggest that FBI directors should not be making public the facts of the fact that an investigation is being held or even the facts that are contained right. uh, within the findings of that investigation. You're supposed to make a recommendation to the Department of Justice. Prosecutorial decisions are supposedly left to the Department of Justice. Um, and that didn't happen in the Hillary Clinton case. And one Lord only knows what will happen here. So interesting. So this story seems to me has such momentum that it's hard to imagine when it will slow down. The idea that Russia somehow, as the Democrats are saying, hacked our election. Is there anything at the core of this that you can see? And do you think the story goes well, away anytime soon? Well, there's a, there, it, it, the Democrats use the hearing uh, to lay out their case for you know, this investigation and the fact that there may be collusion between the Russians and the Trump campaign. And when you go through this, if you listen to it all, it sounds sort of impressive when they lay all these things out. But when you examine them one by one, none of them really adds right. up to any evidence of con con uh, collusion. There's evidence of certainly evidence of yes. contacts. There's evidence of Russian intention to try to torpedo Hillary Clinton. Um, it's worth noting here, by the way, that the Russians gave up somewhere along the way on Donald Trump's possibilities, and they were content just to try to hurt her and thereby possibly help him, but that wasn't, wasn't their focus. They thought he was going to lose. Uh, an odd way to act right. with someone with whom you're colluding, but there you go. Now, I must, there's one other thing worth mentioning here. The, the, the FBI director also said in answer to questions that he had found no evidence uh, no information pointing to uh, a wiretap of, of Donald Trump or to, of Trump Tower. No, no evidence of that. However, what about this investigation that's been going on that he announced since last July that involves the Trump campaign and Trump associates? <laughs> Great question. Uh, are we not? To, are we to believe that there's no surveillance associated with that? Um, we do know, as you pointed out, that. That, uh, that Mike Flynn was caught up in a wiretap. That might be in a routine national security wiretap of the Russian ambassador to whom he was speaking, but who knows? But, uh, and remember, there's this, uh, when he made this announcement, Comey, that there was this investigation going on, which he said he'd receive permission from higher up to do this, the announcement, um, there was a story back on January the 19th in the New York Times which basically laid this whole thing out and said it was based on surveillance. Uh, that indicated exactly. there had been these contacts. That story also said that uh, it wasn't clear that the, uh, the, the wiretaps had turned out being about the Trump campaign. So we don't kind of know where we are. And remember also this. This is supposedly a counterintelligence investigation, which right. is, you know, that means it's basically a national security matter. So what's up with that? I mean, what does that tell us about, about how likely they are, they are to find out about political collusion? One wonders. It, that, you just made the smartest point of the month, if not year. If there was an investigation, and there was, there was surveillance. <laughs> Thank you well, for making would, that point. Well, one, 
Well, well, it's just worth, it's certainly worth asking the question, isn't it? And you might have thought that members is. of the committee would ask the question. And you might also have thought that the issue might have been raised by some of our colleagues in the media. So far, not so much. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought either one, actually. But I'm glad you raised it. Thanks a lot, Britt. <laughs> oh, you bet, sir.